It is sports time. Condors in San Diego facing the goals tonight for game four, trying to tie the series before heading back to Bakersfield tomorrow night. 17 sports director Nick, John, Nick James joining us live now from San Diego with a full report and highlights of tonight's <laughs> game. Hey, Nick. What's going on, Tammy? Uh Pretty good night at the beginning of the game. It, the Condors started out pretty decent. They were down 1-0, then they tied it up at one apiece, and then it kind of got away from them in the second period. They ended up losing tonight 4-2. Let's go and check out the highlights. Coming to you from Pachanga Arena, Goals had a very good crowd on hand tonight for a Friday night tilt. 12,000. And five tonight, a nice crowd on hand. First period, Adam Cracknell will bang it home to give the goals a one nothing lead. So San Diego takes a one nothing lead. Later in the first period, Ryan Stanton comes to the party in the six one nine tonight in the gas lamp and rips it to tie the game up at one apiece to get the Condors in business. But in the second period, Condors got hit pretty hard, giving three goals up in the third period. Cracknell banging one through. For his second goal of the night, that would make it 3-1 for San Diego. The home team had a 3-1 lead at that point. Goals goalie Jeff Glass didn't shatter all night. For the most part, was solid between the pipes for the home team for San Diego goals. Kevin Waugh will light the lamp for the goals to make it 4-1 at the end of the second period. The final score was 4-2. Keegan Lowe put one in in the third period to make it 4-2. And that's where the game ended up at 4-2. to two. Condors tried to pull their goalie late and have the extra skater, but it didn't help out. And they ended up, that was losing, uh, losing the match or losing the game tonight, 4-2. to two. So that's where it's at. Going back to Bakersfield tomorrow, let's hear from the Reacts in the tunnel after the game. The Condors not happy after the game was all said and done. We did have a good first period there, and then it was uh, tough to give one up for a shift of the second there. And, you know, we kind of just uh, definitely wasn't our best period, just kind of let it snowball from there. And, you know, I thought we played it good again in the third. We just uh, gave up some untimely goals. Well, we're playing at home, and we've been pretty good at home this year and, and even in the playoffs. So um, we're, not, we're not worried about anything right now. It's just another game, and, and there's a reason why it's the best of seven. So, you know, it's, we just got to go and take care of business at home tomorrow. So the Condors are chasing a 3-1 deficit in the series. It's the first to four, down 3-1. But if they win tomorrow night at Robert Bank Arena, they'll be down 3-2 and then come back to San Diego here to Pachanga Arena and they can get back in it. They'll make it 3-2. to two. If they can win that game, then game seven is on Wednesday at Robert Bank Arena if it comes to that on Saturday night. But they got to, or I mean on a Wednesday night if it comes to that, but they got to win tomorrow night, Saturday at Robert Bank Arena to get it to three games to two, then force a game six, which is here, like I said, so Condor's got to get it done and get after it, and uh, their back's really against the wall. Must-win situation. They have to win or they go home, and the season is over. Coming to you live from Patango Arena, Nick James, 17 Sports. Tammy, I'll throw it back over to you. You have a nice and safe Happy Mother's Day. You and Alyssa have a nice Mother's Day, Thank and I'm actually going to go see my mom for a late dinner here at Denny's. Oh, nice. Thanks so much, Nick, and uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow.